When describing transport mathematically, we could, of course, try to describe every single molecule, but that would be terribly complicated. So instead, we divide into two different levels. What happens on the tiny level, on the molecular level, describing how molecules interact with each other, and what happens on a larger scale. On the larger scale, we talk about convection. Convection is when an entire package of air or liquid moves from one place to another. On the molecular level, however, we always have random movement, brown in motion. So molecules move, they collide with each other and change direction. And if we have now blue molecules of a gas here and red molecules of another gas there, you see that they move around and there's a barrier here, but if we take away that barrier, they will mix spontaneously because of this Brownian motion. And that's diffusion. We need to be able to calculate the convective transport and calculate the diffusive transport. Let's try first with convective transport. Here we have a pipe. Along that pipe, we assume that we have some liquid moving and we know the flux velocity, how many meters per second. Now try for yourself to write down what the mass transfer rate will be along the pipe and what the heat transfer will be along the pipe. So convective mass transfer and convective heat transfer. For mass transfer, I want you to try to write it in two different units, in kilograms per square meter and second and in moles per square meter and second. And we will use W divided by A for kilogram per square meter and second and Na for mole per square meter and second. And for heat transfer, I would like you to express it as Yo per square meter and second. And we will use the small Q for that. And you have these other uh, parameters you can use. So you have the area, you have the density, you have the heat capacity, you have the temperature and you have the concentration. So pause here and try for yourself. OK, did you manage? The mass transfer. Well, if you know the velocity and you know the density, you only need to multiply the two. The velocity meter per second times the density kilogram per square per cubic meter becomes automatically kilogram per square meters in second. So that is how, how many kilograms pour out at the other end. OK, what about heat transfer along the pipe? Well, if you know the mass transfer, you know that heat transfer has to, do, has to have something to do with that, right? So it should be something W divided by A times something. And what should we multiply it with? Well, we should multiply it with some kind of energy content. And we will talk about heat here as a, some kind of energy and how much energy is in that. Well, you take the heat capacity times a temperature difference. And what kind of temperature difference? Well, you have to have a reference temperature. So this is a kind of enthalpy balance we make here. So you take W divided by A times heat capacity times the temperature difference, the temperature of the flow compared to a reference temperature. So what about mass transfer expressed as mole per square meter and second? Well, you can do that in different ways, but one way to do it is to take the velocity times the concentration. So meters per second times mole per cubic meter that becomes mole per square meters in second. So that was convection. What about diffusion? Well, diffusion moves things from high concentration to low concentration. So the rate is some kind of constant times a difference or a gradient. And what fix first law states is that the molar transport equals a diffusivity times a concentration gradient. And we use J here for diffusive flux of A in the Z axis direction. And we take the derivative of concentration with respect to that direction, the Z axis direction. 
and there is a minus sign there and that minus sign is because it moves from high concentration to low not vice versa so from high concentration to low then you get a minus sign there but what is the unit of diffusivity well if you look at the other units here mole per square meter and second mole per cubic meter and meter that means that the diffusivity must have the unit square meter per second but that sounds something like a painter right trying to paint a wall and you paint the number of square meters per second that sounds rather strange for something that is transported but if you take the diffusivity and divide that with the distance so square meter per second divided by meter then you get meter per second a velocity so the diffusivity says something about how fast things are going if you know the distance so to use diffusivities you need to know something about that distance another way to express this is to use mass transfer coefficients when you use mass transfer coefficients you don't really care exactly what happens you just measure things and say okay uh, if I have this concentration here and that concentration there uh, how fast is things being transported and then you determine your mass transfer coefficient k and you get a, an equation like this but wait a minute if you have an equation like that and you have fixed first law you can compare the diffusivity and the mass transfer coefficient and maybe you here realize that perhaps the mass transfer coefficient is the diffusivity divided by the distance perhaps we will come back to that later and show that that might be the case but there might it might not be exactly the case so this is the two film theory that says this but we will talk more about that later okay but how do you get a value of diffusivity well you could do it like this you take a handbook of some kind and then you look it up but how did they get to that number well they made measurements so they determined them by experiments what for example like uh, an equipment like this but another thing you can do is to estimate the diffusivity based on different physical characteristics and we will do both in this course we will do one composite task with determining diffusivity and we will do a lot of calculations where we estimate the diffusivity from physical characteristics.